attachment to one here, I'm going to be going showing you guys the ins and outs of holding off a cannon rush. Um, basically, the cannon rush is a strategy that takes almost no micro and no macro whatsoever, so it's a strategy you'll see a lot in the lower leagues. But because it can be countered so easily, um, if you scout it, it's not really something you see in higher leagues. Luckily, I did get a game against a uh, cannon rusher, uh, Arrow, who was, as you probably saw in the chat, very sick of cannon rush or um, of Protoss versus Protoss, which is usually the reason why I build cannon rush. And he's gonna be placing a pile on the low ground to try to cannon me in. Uh, the basic response to a cannon rush, first and foremost, is scout it out. How do you know when to scout for a cannon rush? Uh, ideally, you'd do it every game, but honestly, I forget sometimes and. Um, I end up scouting it off only when I suspect it, and I suspect it obviously against this guy because he's just said he's tired of PvP. When someone says they're tired of a matchup, you know, okay, he's probably frustrated, and um, when you're frustrated, you do cheesy moves like this. So, so with this guy, I believe it is. I instead of just going straight to his base, I scout around here, and let's see if you can look at my map. See it on the mini map. I wasn't really paying attention at first, and then bam, I see that, and I go, well. That's probably a proxy two gate coming, isn't it? But then I realize there's no gateways there, so it's a cannon rush, which is very unusual. Don't usually see those anymore. Um, seeing as how I am in the Masters League at the moment, which is supposed to be for Masters, but I guess not. People stuck to cannon rush. Um, typically, you'll see two gate proxy two gate in the higher leagues, because that actually takes some micro and it's like legitimate build almost. But um, in the lower leagues, you see stuff like this. Man, my computer's lagging. That's not good. Alright, well, I'm getting like 30 frames per second. That's unfortunate. Um, this could be because of that new patch. This is like an old replay, so it made me disconnect from Battle.net in order to play this. But Alright, let's see if I can do it. First things for, uh, first, you've got to kill this probe. That's the most important thing. You can kill the probe and the pylons. Cannons don't do anything, you know? So I'm sending these guys to work on the uh, pylon. I'm sending this guy to try to chase this uh, probe around. Getting a zealot out. Uh, my response to this game is a forge. I've been trying to get more into using forges to stop ca um, cannon rush and two gate. Uh, I'm, not I'm not the biggest fan of it. I haven't really done it successfully very much. My goal here is to counter cannon rush him. But I don't know. I think just getting a stalker out and playing it standard pretty much is better. Just because... Uh, you know, I'm so much more used to using stalkers than I'm with using cannons. Now he's getting a photon cannon up and a second pylon. I want to get these guys back up here and fighting again. Don't want them attacking a forge, not really much point in that. It only takes four uh, probes to DPS down a cannon. Probes have very low DPS, but just four of them is enough to kill a cannon as, before it warps in. There I only had three, so I probably zell it out to attack for a little while and finish it off. He's warping in more cannons, this isn't going to do anything at this point. Although we did bring a second probe, and I didn't see this pylon. Ideally, I'd be uh, taking down the pylon as well and killing the probes, but he's getting away. In any case, I have my probe in position. I can start cannon rushing him back. But this game is basically over as soon as I see the pylon, and that's why cannon rushing is not that good. Uh, to reiterate, what I did in this game, although I recommend actually getting a cybernetic score and a gas instead, is I got a forge, and then simply put one zealot to DPS down the cannons, and then started cannoning him in uh, his base. So you guys see, he tries to get a, pylon, or a cannon down on the low ground. I really should have been paying attention. This should not go up. If I had been paying uh, the slightest bit of attention, I could have just pulled, you know, five... Uh, probes and a zealot and would have easily killed that. But in any case, I don't know why I'm getting a pylon here. That seems kind of stupid. But whatever. I'm getting a cannon in his base. I think he does not see that. And now I'm just going to try to stop him. He built this cannon in a bad position. He's going to try to build one in a proper position over here. I could still DPS this down. Just bring like five uh, probes and a zealot that still could kill it before this guy can kill me. But instead, I'm just going to get a cannon of my own in my uh, base. And then he sees, oh geez, I'm in trouble. He tries to come out there. He knows he can't kill that without losing a lot of probes. And he just leaves. 
So, with the Forge defense, you can have a cannon in your base, and that just stops him from cannoning you. Ideally, though, you don't want cannons to go up, of course. So I really should have killed this but when I had the chance. And you can can them in. Uh, and they can't really do much about it. This is just a quick little video. I wanted to um, get the word out there that cannon rushing sucks and that you can stop it easily. So, there you go. You just have to kill the probes and DPS down the cannons. Don't try to uh, DPS down warping in pylons with probes. If you have a zealot or a stalker, then okay, maybe. But DPSing down a pylon is much, much more difficult than a uh, photon cannon. Photon cannons take a lot longer to warp in than pylons, and they have less health. So the pylon will just regenerate too quickly. It takes like something like seven or so uh, probes to DPS down a pylon. It's not worth it. Okay, uh, that's ho hopefully a good little guide for that. I'm trying to get a, a video on proxy 2 gate done, or how to stop a proxy 2 gate. Uh, I just need to get proxy 2 gated first, and same thing with 4 gate. And that'll be all for this time. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.